Hey folks, right here. We're back. See, so yeah, last episode we sort of confirmed what we were thinking is that the units that we used for the first half of the game are kind of stop stopping being so useful here on the third floor. So we've cut our banshee. And we're moving forward with this lineup for now. See what we can do to improve our team. Oh, there we go. Our point of dread. Do we need initiative here? I feel like it's a shame not to spend one point for accuracy. Let's get a little bit of evasion. All right, let's see how this new and improved team does. Still missing the class items on both of our tanks. Which might get things a, bit, a little bit hairy. Fortunately, Bone Bone's pretty tanky without it. I'm a little bit worried about the mummy. We'll see how that goes. We won't do the bad guy because he's stealthed up and unlikely to be... Hit by our spells. And yeah, let's get rid of this bard. She's a tremendous pain in the ass. Clearing all the debuffs and all with our debuffing team. Okay, well, he's in a stance. Do we have a way to interrupt that? No, we didn't take it, so we'll avoid him for now. Who does he redirect? Okay, so he's protecting the bard. Let's wait here. It's actually quite an annoying little puzzle, isn't it? Maybe we'll just do the very rare shuffle here, get him out of that stand. Now we're free to strike the bard with a repercussion. Not quite. Okay, thanks, buddy. Are they just all attacking each other right now? Panic Blast. Oh, they're gonna. <laughs> Why are they attacking each other? What is Panic Blast? Alright, let's. Uh oh. I think he missed. I need to find a way to deal with that stance. Somehow we don't have mana for our ability, so we're going to wait here. Guess we can't use it. What do we do with her when she can't do it? We do a trap, I suppose. Bone Bone's looking a little unhealthy. Finish this one off. What? Playing around this swordsman is a little bit. I guess we could have used our stance interrupt there, but I'm a little concerned about getting hit. And again here. It's a really high damage ability that he's got. I'll tell you what, we're just gonna give him a shot. Go ahead and you swing. You're protecting a guy that's like giving you the gears. We got a block, so we're not too worried about the retaliation here. There we go, got rid of him. So yeah, we're missing stance interruption on this team in a big way. The only stance interruption we have is on the Moon Golem. That might be something we need to address. Maybe we'll bring in a substitute for the rounds where we have to deal with the Swordsman. Those aren't going to be too useful for us. 
All right, finally, we're going to get our class item. The bone golem. Just in time. Just taking a little bit of a beating here. How are we doing on parts here? Got a purple ectoplasm. Could put that on the wraith. That would probably be good for a little more attack. So let's make an investment in this guy. Wow, one point of attack for a purple item. Uh, he's also got some dust here. Let's give him a little bit of dust. We use hearts. You use hearts and weapons. Okay. Just leave him be for now. Where do we want to focus secondary? I guess we just want most efficient upgrade. Six vigor here seems pretty good. Yeah. All right. So we've got another swordsman fight, and this one's got a gargoyle. So that's a real physical fight. Wondering if we don't want our unfrozen for that. But how do we, what do, who do we replace is the question. I guess we could replace the wraith. But then what are we even doing with this mummy? The elite is a dodgy. I think we're still good here. We're going to have to take out the bard first. And work from there. We've got more than enough digger souls. We've been neglecting our upgrades here. Let's get some the Aegis of Wrath to help our Dampir be a little more consistent with her spell casting. We are much like you and I. Revenge is what drives us. Yeah, let's throw you in there. That's probably all we need for now. Let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah, that's better. You can really see the difference of the damage taken, right? All right, let's get in on this swordsman. Okay. There goes that buff. Thank you, buff. What do we want to do here? Let's buff up the damp here. Is pretty low. Oh my goodness. That was quite the shot. Still don't have battle eternal mana. That's all right. Well, here's the question, right? Got a swordsman acting. I feel like we need to heal up our bone golem, but at the same time, the mummy's not looking too healthy. Just the bone golem is going to act again here. It's unlikely that the bone golem gets gibbed here. Alright, so he's protecting the bard. Let's get that health on the bone golem. Now, if we cast this for 40, we're still going to have mana for our shuffle, so let's get the swordsman out of the stance. And then let's hit him with a finger to help him along. 
that'll leave the 30 mana to hopefully take out the guard. And that's the second time we've got her down almost nothing. Okay, now we really need to get a battle eternal going. That was fortunate. Fortuitous. Protect the damp here again. So we'll have our class item on the mummy, and he'll be a little less prone to getting one and two shot. Just one shot, it won't change, but two shots anyway. Savor these last few hearts. All right, just the gargoyle. We have an attack to use on him here. I don't think there's anything useful we can do other than remove debuffs. It's basically all about the damp here. here. That was unfortunate. Times. Mop up the gore. Tongue, that's interesting. I know that was a purple bones too. Fertilizer. All right, well the purple bones has got to go on the bone golem here. We'll finish up his health. Finish up. That was optimistic. One away though. Pretty close, all things considered. Don't really feel like an elite fight here. I feel like the team is. Struggling with this floor just a little bit. We could go item, forced elite fight. Maybe we want to avoid elite fights here. But how do we feel now about an elite gargoyle? Probably not all that great. But that's the fight we got. How close are we to finger death? We need that bad way. I feel like we've gotten there slower this game than we usually do. All right, here I figure, like, here we're going to focus the swordsman first. Try to avoid that stance nonsense that we saw before. What do we want to do with the bone golem here? Let's go block up on the damp here. And yeah, just all in on this guy. Get him out of here before he does too much damage. That's all his sanity. And that should be getting him out of here. some blocks and wards on the wraith here. Whoa. That was unfortunate. Let's 
just get the uh, army back in position and the fire ready for a kill. This elite gargoyle, though. Really doing a number on our guys. As he keeps hitting the bone golem, we're feeling okay. Maybe we should have. Well, we're not really an armor based team. Wouldn't be so good on the Dark Knight, though. <laughs> can only imagine. I think we'll let him be and get to work on the Elite Gargoyle here. Well, that did nothing. I guess it's all up to the damp here on the Gargoyle. Yeah, you go ahead and heal. Damn it. Uh, redirect. Guess we got him anyway. That worked. Let's heal up. Heal. Nice. All right, level 18 brain goes probably right into the mummy. Let's pop that in there. Get our big upgrade here. Don't use his alt much, but. Nice to have. He's taking a bit of a beating here. Got enough for another Digger Soul upgrade, so let's see. What are we going to do now? Maybe mana is a good idea. We've been kind of struggling with mana, wanting to battle Eternal more than we can. Welcome to my breathless ranks, Night Mistress. There you go, that'll help. Yeah, this regeneration on the mummy hasn't been enough. I was hoping it would be more impactful. Almost. Alright, let's get some digger souls. Approaching this here. Maybe we do need a banshee for this. You will learn to enjoy your wretched existence. Maybe we had the right idea in the first place. Maybe we'll just go back to what we were doing before. So I gotta tell you, I really am missing the Banshee stun. I know we got a little bit upset with her when she died. But I feel like she really was kind of the glue that was holding the whole team together. So why don't we just give it a go again? Don't give up on them just because they had a couple of bad outings. Definitely need a brain for the Banshee, though. 13's the best we've got. Let's get the minus evasion one. We'll get 
plus evasion here. Get free dread here. Free dread here. Then we'll pump that evasion. Throw the rest in the dread. Shades back. Um, well, accuracy doesn't matter much anymore. Now, Matters a little, though. Alright, let's see what the original team, how they do in here. Do have a little bit of a hurt wraith here, but it should be okay. So we're going to have to just repeatedly curse doll this gargoyle. Yes. Move those mortal legs. And we'll put the pull on swordsman because that makes them really ineffective. Get our stun off here. Back three. He's the most dangerous. Now the problem is she has a cleanse ability that will allow her to get rid of the stun. She's not using it right now, but it doesn't mean she won't. Well. I guess I hope for the best of him. to work on this guard well. about dead. We're in some shit here. Where is buff anyway? We can't afford to stun here because we need to heal with the Dark Knight. And that gives him a little bit of health. He might survive by one hit point for all we know. That was really helpful, him going in and attacking his own teammate. We just about lost the Wraith in the back now. Things are looking very poor. Let's get him a block and award. He needs it badly. I feel like the gargoyle needs some evasion, or some anti-evasion. Let's get a breather with a stun here. Especially since he's a betrayal guy. We actually do decent damage with our melee attack right now. But, we're going to give it a go on the sword from here. That was helpful. No stun mana. You're not going to hit this guy much. Let's just buff the team. Let's get another block and ward. 
Oh, we'll just let him kill the gargoyle. That works. Alright, let's go in on the gargoyle here. That's 40 accuracy. Let's help him along with the cloud. Don't really want to kill this guy. We want him to kill the gargoyle first. Let me give him back his sanity. That'll give us mana for battle eternal. And then... Let's get another block and word on the wraith. We're all in the wrong positions now, but that's okay. I feel like we're making some progress here. Get some mana. Alright, well, let's restart now. What are we going to do about you? I guess you can just try to hit here. Going on the gargoyle. Yeah, we'll just all focus the gargoyle here. Get some spell power back. And on the gargoyle. Uh, guess we'll try to hit him this game. Oh, we got him. Gargoyle again. You serious, dude? Damn gargoyles. Let's do a debuff here. Slow boot. Surely we are getting that. Nice. Alright, now let's finish it off. Boy, that was not the easiest round we've done, for sure. But we figured it out. Beauty. A display for mortal kind. All right, folks, we're going to put a little break in here. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.